Violent storms across Colorado have swirled into tornadoes that destroyed homes, popped open a sinkhole that swallowed a police cruiser and dropped so much hail on a Denver neighborhood that residents had to dig out of waist-deep ice with shovels. Forecasters warned Friday that more severe weather and flooding was on the way overnight and into the weekend. The National Weather Service placed the eastern half of the state under a tornado watch and posted flood advisories in the north. The tornado watch expired Friday night for much of the state, but meteorologist Kyle Fredden said we're not out of the woods yet. It's probably going to be an active afternoon and evening tomorrow and Sunday, he said. It looks like more of the same. We're pretty unstable. It's just what Mother Nature does. No serious injuries have been reported from the storms that raked areas from Fort Collins in the north to Pueblo, nearly 180 miles south. As lightning flickered from horizon to horizon and heavy rain pelted Denver overnight, Sergeant Greg Miller of the Sheridan Police Department drove his SUV into a 15-foot-deep, 20-foot-wide sinkhole that he couldn't see on a suburban street. 